So what's going on? I wanted to touch base with you today because I have some really important information that I wanted to share. I was thinking, because I recently had a birthday, you know, how did the financial markets and the United Stock Market perform since I was born? I get questions a lot about, Matt, what's the stock market going to do over the next, you know, week, next month, next year, and frankly, I don't have any idea. But I want you to know so you can make intelligent decisions and educated decisions with your hard-earned dollars. So the reason why I bring this up is because my grandfather lost most of his money as an investor in the stock market. But the reality is the stock market doesn't lose money. People cause themselves to lose money in the way that they interact with it. And it's hard to be an investor without the right information and without the right education. So I'm not biased towards the stock market in this conversation. I'm just biased towards getting you the proper information. So I was born in 1980 and I was thinking, well, that was when I was gifted my first share of stock. Now that's not the stock market as a whole, but I wanted to talk to you what we would have to experience as an investor to recognize the returns of the market. See, I was born in 1980. What happened after that? There was the Iran-Contra affair. And after that, there was the junk bond craze of the 1980s with Michael Milken and all of his cohorts. Then we had Black Monday, which was the biggest stock market crash in history on one day. Then we went to war in Iraq in 1990, followed by a savings and loan crisis in 1991, and then we had a little bit of a tech wave with Microsoft and the AOLs of the world in the mid to late 1990s. Fast forward to 2000, that all blew up. We had the dot-com bust. Then 9-11 rolled around, which made some impact on our economy. Following that, we went to war with Iraq and then Afghanistan. And then the housing market went through a bit of a boom from 2003 to 2006. Followed by a great recession, a flash crash, Greece's situation, Brexit in 2016, and now Trump. So if I told you that the stock market was a really good place to be after hearing all that, you'd probably think I was crazy. So how did the stock market actually do from 1980 through essentially July 2017? It actually grew at 11.5% compounded per year over the last 37 years. So $10,000 turned into $550,000 had you just simply been an investor. Now, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but even if the market generates some of those returns, it's likely going to be fruitful. So you need to have the right education, the right in information to build the proper investment plan and have the proper patience so you can reap the rewards and you can be a solid, smart, and wise investor. If you have any questions or need any help around your financial markets and investment plan, let us know. I look forward to hearing back from you soon. Bye.